Hey everyone, welcome back to tech.digital. Today, we're going to show you how to install Windows 10 without signing in with a Microsoft account. During setup, Windows 10 often requires you to use a Microsoft account, asking you to either sign in with an existing account or create a new one. While a Microsoft account does offer certain benefits, you may prefer to set up Windows 10 with an offline account. In this video, will guide you through the steps to bypass the Microsoft account requirement. At the end of this video, you'll find a bonus tip to complete the setup without needing a Microsoft account. So make sure to watch until the end. Sometimes, you don't want to create or use an existing Microsoft account during the installation of Windows 10 or 11. Maybe you prefer to keep things local or just want a straightforward setup. No worries. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire process step by step. Let's get started. First, you'll need a Windows 10 bootable USB drive for installation. If you don't have one yet, don't worry. I already uploaded a video on how to download and create a bootable USB. You will find the link in the description. Once your USB drive is ready, plug it into the computer where you want to install Windows 10. Restart your computer and enter the boot menu. This usually involves pressing a key like F12, F2 or delete key during startup. Depends on your laptop or computer motherboard brand. Here you need to change the boot priority order from your computer BIOS mode. Now select the USB drive from the list and hit enter. The installation process will start. Then here you have to choose the language. I am selecting English. After that, select the time and currency according to your requirement. Click Next. Then click on Install Now. Windows 10 setup will start. Now here you have to enter the product key. But if you do not have one, then click on I don't have a product key. Then select the operating system Windows 10 Pro and click Next. Scroll down and select I accept the license terms and click next. Select custom installation. Now here you can define on which partition and drive you want to install Windows 10. But I would like to start the fresh installation of Windows 10. So I am going to delete all partitions, then create a new partition. and proceed to format the partition. Now click Next. Windows files will be copied and start the installation. After installation, the system will automatically restart. In the meanwhile, you will have to remove the USB flash drive. Then you will have to wait for Windows to configure the system. The installation process will start you will see the Windows setup screens for the initial installation. After that, it will ask you about your country or region. Choose United States and click to Yes. Keep the keyboard at US and click Yes. Skip the secondary keyboard. I am just going to click through the normal setup program until you reach the desktop. Now, you will see the tab that says Network. Do not connect to the network or enter any Wi-Fi password. Click I don't have internet because it's an easier and safer installation method. Continue with the limited setup since you don't want to add a Microsoft account. When it asks who is going to use this PC, put something generic name like My PC. Do not set a password to avoid security challenge questions. After that, you will see the privacy settings for your device. Click to accept. I am going to accept the Cortana help option. Wait for the initial setup to finish. This is a good sign as it indicates that you have successfully installed Windows 10 without a Microsoft account. New account is signed in for the first time showing the Windows desktop. Now, here's a bonus tip. Before you start installing apps or shutting down your computer, make sure to create a password. Otherwise, you might get stuck on the Windows sign-in page. To set up your password, right-click on the Start menu, select Settings, then go to Accounts. 
On the right side, click on Sign in Options. Here, you'll see the option to create a password for your local account. Click Add, then enter your desired password and a password hint. Once you're done, click Next and then Finish. Now you're all set to enjoy your new OS with a local account. Remember, you can always add a Microsoft account later if you change your mind. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech videos.